Hi friends, today we will talk about the Bitbox hardware wallet. Bitbox vs Trezor, Bitbox vs Ledger. Who is better, who is more vulnerable? You can see the technical characteristics of Bitbox by clicking on the link in the description under the video. I will draw your attention to the most important factor this is comparison, vulnerability and security. So here we go. As the developer of Shiftrip2, the company behind the Bitbox hardware wallet, stated in a Medium article, Trezor 1 hardware wallets up to V9.3 and Trezor Model T up to V3.3, as well as TP, are vulnerable to a remote ransom attack when entering a passphrase on a computer and phone. According to the developer, Shiftrip2 notified Trezor Satoshilabs about the problem on April 15, 2020, and the TP shape shift creators on May 7, 2020. At the same time, Sato Shilabs paid a fee for the discovery of the vulnerability and on September 2 released updates that fixed the problem. However, the TP team has yet to patch the vulnerability and, according to the developer, says it is working on higher priority issues. The researcher writes that past process, the level of security that the hidden wallets available in TP and Trezor can create, needs to be entered only into the appropriate host wallet, such as Electrum, and not into a hardware wallet, although Trezor also provides the ability to enter it on the device. This creates a vulnerability in which a malicious wallet or middleman attack could effectively block a user's access to their cryptosets by changing the host's wallet passphrase. The passphrase that Trezor slash TP uses may not be the one you entered and could be controlled by an attacker, the developer notes. Because both the passphrase and the device are required for outgoing transactions, the user is cut off from their funds until an attacker reveals the passphrase. Such a loophole creates opportunities for a ransom attack in which the hacker demands from the victim a certain amount of cryptosets in order to restore access to the wallet. The developer claims to have successfully carried out an Electrum attack on the Bitcoin testnet. However, there is no evidence that the vulnerability has already been actually exploited by someone. The remote attack only affects wallet owners who use the optional passphrase feature and enter it through a wallet on their computer. Vulnerabilities in hardware wallets are discovered quite often. For example, last July it became known that Trezor hardware wallets were vulnerable to physical hacking, and in December, Kraken Security Labs discovered a vulnerability in the KeepKey cryptocurrency wallet. As you can see for yourself, the developer of the hardware wallet Bitbox took care of the safety of their developments, and also having examined the KeepKey and Trezor wallets, helped to eliminate their errors. The fact is obvious, Bitbox wallets are beyond doubt, 